uh, decide. plays favorites at all. <laughs> just like decides not to coach one of them. <laughs> oh no no no! It's like you you give notes to one player and then you tell the other player this is exactly what I told him to do. So make sure you punish this exactly. Brilliant. We're passing it on over to Pokemon Stadium 2. Now, Noku and Jokane are two players that uh, we actually see quite frequently at just normal fusions, getting top 8s, getting top 16s, and like doing well overall, especially at some of the other weeklies they attend, uh, Encore and PSS, uh, respectively. But it's good to see them like just continue up in their work and continue like, hey, we may not, we may be the kind of gatekeepers right now, but we're trying to... We're trying to get past that barrier, get that coveted number 15 slot on the New Jersey PR. Yes, uh, maybe even higher. I mean, Ideally. why stop at 15 at that point? True but enough. As we can see right here, we do got Noku coming in, putting down some decent damage. Squirtle is very great at applying that pressure. It doesn't matter the character he's taking on. Yeah, but thankfully Peach can apply a lot of really safe pressure against small characters. I feel like Ivysaur is going to really be the name of the game for Joke uh, Noku. Because you have that extra range, you have the ability to shark a mid-air peach really, really well. And Razor Leaf can be such a house, especially with that, oh, that little bit of movement there. And the mix-up with the grab, switching to Charizard to try and confirm that kill. Mm -hmm. Well, there we go. Gets a down air, trying to put that additional pressure here. And now this becomes an issue because Peach eats big bodies like this alive, unless she gets hit like that. Now, granted, that wasn't the sweet spot, so, like, he's in a pretty decent spot. Wow, Noku really sitting there trying to trying to catch Jukane over committing, and they did it in the first time, but that jump gets caught out by a sweet spot back air. Jukane now sticking with the Charizard as, uh, excuse me, Noku sticking with the Charizard at this massive percent. Wonder how, what, how many Peach back airs will it take to close out this large dragon? I mean, it's yes. just a matter of just trying to find that hit. Oh, sure. As you can see, they are definitely trying to work their way in there, but man, Noku not biting on anything. Taking his time. Another back air. I mean, one more of those. That should definitely be able to take the stock. Especially at that spacing. But the horizontal recovery comes in through Skiff. I mean, we're seeing Jukane kind of like really struggling to kill here. Able to get back just fine. But a lot of the meaningful hits that they're landing are all in center stage. Noku playing a great stage control kind of game. And just knowing what hits they can take in the corner. Oh, the yeah, jump gets Trying to get that float cancel back air. And a dash attack will be enough. Does not matter what kind of DI you got. But there we go, getting up right into that Squirtle. They got a nice little bit of extra credit here, 63%. It's just a matter of uh, where you go from here. And where you where you can be going? Oh, it's straight over to the Ivysaur, not even messing with the Squirtle once they were off stage. But this might be a boon. Maybe it gives Jukane uh, enough time to pull a turn up or two, getting a grab back air. And look at the damage already racking up, Skiff. Like the, the amount of respect you have to provide Peach is so much, especially when they give the, have the time to pull those turnips and pressure some of the spacing that you're doing with this uh, Cabbage Dog. Mm -hmm. but there we go. I mean, Jukane back on the offensive here. Not doing too bad. Does have the pressure, not necessarily having the percentage lead, but like does have him at the edge of the stage. But we do see Doku come onto the stage with that Charizard forward air, grabbing the turnip as well. Flying very cautious. Oh, that pivot grab would have been huge and said the up smash comes out. I guess that up, that neutral air was just a little bit high, allowing for the, the punish from the up smash. Good grab on Jukane, though, not letting it get too far out of his way. But I, I, feel, I feel like you got to want this stock right now. The back air parry, nothing coming from it. Oh, it's so tantalizing from uh, Jukane just to constantly be missing out on some of these kills. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, wow. Man, Watch out for turnips. Missing that one. The second one, too. <laughs> <laughs> Still not going to be able to connect, but... Playing careful. Good right. get-up attack. Pass, passing it along. A uh, couple neutral air pressure. Just keeping the Charizard's big hitboxes to try and keep Jukane out. This fourth throw shouldn't do it. 194 now. And he makes it back just fine. Okay, well, there we go. Covering the roll-in option with that Nair, gonna be able to send that stock all the way off to the right side here. But now again, 45% down, you gotta deal with the Squirtle. I Man, the Squirtle just knows how to find their way in to build up a lot of damage very quickly. But, ooh, that air dodge to the stage, gonna get a decent punish, 55% now. Yeah, climbing up, and this is, I feel like it's the danger that comes with sticking for Squirtle as, uh, as long as they did. Like they want to find something like a forward tilt, set up these tech chases, set up a juggle, but Peach handles shorties and, and light characters so unbelievably well. And you have to pivot to the Ivysaur, but pivoting it a little bit late here and 
Jukane playing such a good keep away game. The parry dash back to find a grab was super slick. Ooh. Rico finally getting a hit in there. The Razor Leaf into the back throw. Looking for an up air or something. Okay, lands a forward air. Probably was looking for a fine whip to go out with that too. He saw the attempt, but not gonna be able to land a second time. Getting so tight that that Razor Leaf went a little bit high as another Sharking Vine Whip. I wonder if all of these are trying to set up for like an anti-air up smash or up air coming out from this Charizard now. 135. Another really solid grab from Jukane though. Can they close out here on the ledge trap? Jukane is, uh, has been faltering a little bit on some of the corner pressure, but the dash attack does it. Wow. Yeah, Jukane, I mean, despite falling early, uh, was able to make a nice little push towards the end there and actually take that game one. So that's definitely a huge little spot for Jukane to put themselves into. Now, it just matters, you know, how they go into the second game. Okay, we got oh, replays from, from last time. <laughs> yeah, we gotta have the, <laughs> gotta have that little DK clip. It was, it was nice, it was, it was a little something. It was something, something. But still, it's all, it's all about the, the PT, the, a different PT and that Peach Jukane taking game one Super, like, it's so weird to watch Squirtle be so ineffective in a, across a game state. Like, so many opportunities that you would think, like, oh, Squirtle wants to be here. You just get stuffed by, like, a Peach Nair, a Peach Back Air. Down Air, in that case, trying to get a nice jump in. He's, he's eating a lot of damage. I mean, I think for the most part, like, game one, the Squirtle did his job. He got in there, put down 40 to 50 pretty solidly. And then, I mean, yeah, maybe struggle a little bit then, but like at that point, Squirtle's job is done. You're just working for X percentage if you can. I suppose. I guess it gets it gets risky when you're taking just as much damage as you're giving, but not so in this case. A quick 23 to 61. We'll see how long it can last. Being extremely safe, pulling up block a lot is Noku after landing a, uh, a safe enough aerial. Really clutch against Jukane's a habit of uh, bouncing back airs out of shield. Oh, wow. Somehow that side be going to be able to land there. Tries to go for that turnaround grab, but I think Ivy Store is honestly where the big issue is. Like, yes, they, they it covers a lot of a lot of space. Forces Peach to have to attack in a different way, but uh, honestly, when they kept Ivy Store in, that's kind of what allowed uh, Kane to kind of get that uh, comeback from last game. We'll have to see the, and if any of... Have any coaching helped out in between this as Arc this Arcadian allows coaching? There's a down air, but no up air follow up. Not many up airs at all coming out from Noku throughout this set, which goes to show just how good uh, Jukane has been at keeping things extremely horizontal, using that float to their advantage as the Ivysaur pivots to the Charizard, looking for a back air, looking for an up smash here. Double spot dodge, but nothing biting from it. Somehow getting hit by that back air as well. Dot eyes coming out. Not going to find the hit, the dash attack from the Charizard. Oh, I thought they were going to go off stage, potentially look for like a falling there and just try to catch that recovery. Ooh, okay, avoiding another dot ice there. Jukane setting up for, oh, I guess they were looking for a roll instead of trying to prep that back air and thus it keeps the game super even. This back throw won't do it. Battlefield Blast Zone's ridiculously large. Another ledge trap set up, another forward throw goes. Oh. Okay, I didn't expect that one to kill, to be honest. <laughs> I think that second dash attack before he got sent off stage, I think that was just supposed to be a forward tilt attempt, like a sliding forward tilt. Fair. He just was not able to get the right uh, input for that. But we do see the Ivysaur coming out here, trying to put that pressure down. Whoa. Okay, no, he's fine. Oh, switch. Yep, get back to stage. Okay. Yep. Going through all the toolkit and hitting through the stage in order to get that fine whip. It's so cheeky, but it is something you have to respect. No trips on three forward tilts. That's so unfortunate for Nuke, uh, for Noku, not able to get a grab after it and pull, put so much together. Yeah. Sandra just seems scrapping here. Couple forward air, tri triple forward air this time. Oh, Ju Noku pushing the, his advantage, switching over to the Ivysaur, and was looking for so much more with that edge guard. Instead, he surrendered with just a simple, just an easy 54% on on it. And now we'll see what Noku, uh, what Jukane can do to answer. Yeah, tried to land with that forward air, now getting punished for that. Barely finds a way through that forward air from Jacane. And the Vine Whip, not going to be enough there, but definitely a nice little conversion. Trying to get a little Ooh. bit of an interception with the turn up. Caught the Vine Whip the second time around, taking that second stock. And now we got Noku on top here. 
I love how uh, Noku's been playing with the threat of up air so dangerously well, like, and uh, doing a lot with uh, air dodge reads and delayed vine whips in order to do some, at least apply some vertical pressure, if not catching stocks. Finally, a forward air lands there for Jukane, though, only for the Charizard to come out and really squander a lot of that kill potential. The Charizard have been putting in so much pressure just by the fact that it's so hard to take him out of your Peach. There's a Winky Face, though. There it is. It does not matter. Forward air coming through. And now we got a happy, fresh, <laughs> healthy Squirtle. Gonna be coming in, trying to put some damage down. But Duquesne, nice little start there with the turn up into the dash attack. Oh, that was a bit of a weird interaction. Okay. Tiny Turtle. He didn't get hit by the turn up after, uh, after getting hit by that waterfall. A little bit of a scramble, but man, Jukane holding this positioning so well up until Jukane and uh, Noku flips the head on him, flips the script, and surrenders it all with that up smash. I wonder what they were looking for. They were definitely looking for like an air dodge in because they Absolutely. were challenging him in the air. So I definitely understand, or at least some sort of aggressive option. So it just didn't work out for him. Oh, Winky Face sending too far for the fair in order to hit. Gives you can uh, gives Noku a chance to kind of pivot back in here. Gets a down tilt. Will we see the uh, the two frame pressure? But good job on Jukane in order to uh, delay the recovery a little bit. Now just needs to find a way to fight out of the corner. Ooh, these up airs are scary. Then and the shield's getting rather low. Oh my God! The, the fact that they waited so long in order to pull the trigger on that dash attack shows the discipline, but also keeping it super, super uh, forcing the respect uh, up throw. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Honestly, forward throw might have been able to do it. It's, it'd be close, because forward air is not bad on Charizard. Like, all, all, oh, no, almost all, all the throws are pretty solid. I mean, down throw is more of like a combo at lower percentages, but, but yeah, up throw is definitely probably the safer bet. Especially yeah. with that platform there. Yeah. Guaranteed thing. I wonder if they did up throw, like, immediately without the pummels, but, uh, I mean, forward throw without the pummels, but up throw, super safe. You get that game uh, locked in. Peach definitely uh, can be susceptible to kill throws at uh, rather reasonable percents, given how light they are. We'll see how it goes. Back on Pokemon Stadium, naturally banning some more, some of the more flat stages. When you get back to so good old, good old PS2. There we go. These guys kind of dancing around at the moment here. Throws up that back air, just getting a little bit of additional damage. Trying to put that pressure down, but Duquesne off to a hot start. 73% forcing. Noku to switch into Ivysaur early. Uh-oh. Oh, cool, but that could have okay, been... Okay, we're good. Line. We're fine. It's still going, though, and without a float, finally landing was Duquesne, but this... The damage wrapping up so Ooh. quickly, and the jump calling out with that Vine Whip. Can Noku finish off the ledge trap? Almost looking for the pivot grab, but not able to find it, and Duquesne finds a punish in turn. It gone through those one too many times. Wow. Okay, catch you that turn up right back into the dash attack there. <laughs> all right, all right. That one was a little obvious. They're really Let's beating dial it for back it. A bit, Noku. <laughs> they see that one trick, it's like, oh, this works. And, and it certainly works for some damage, and it worked in previous games, but Duquesne just taking it on the chin, finds that backer on the Charizard, and closes out there. One of their few leads of the game, like early leads of the set. Feels like Noku has always been the one to take the stock first with that Charizard. In this case, Duquesne can finally play that that float back game plan that is so good on Peach, having to respect that back air so much. Oh, wow. You know, that might have been a little stale. I'm not entirely sure, but it also was probably some really good DI. So either way, not too bad. But this Ivysaur, man, dude, Noku is struggling to find a way to close out the stock. Working their tail off with this uh, with this Ivysaur, but look at the respect that Jukane is like for demanding Noku provides them. It's like, hey, I've got, I can pull turnips for days. You have to approach me, but some of your approaches are kind of unsafe given how big Peach's hitboxes can be and how deceptively strong her movement is. This up throw will do it though. But after a cool 85%, this Charizard is going to either need to put in work himself or take the risk of switching back to Ivysaur at a late stage in, in the percentage. I'd go to Squirtle here. Why not? Like, yeah. yeah, you do run the risk of losing the stock, but you're trying to build a percentage as fast as possible. Charizard doesn't do that as fast as possible. He's here to close out stocks. Take the risk, unless you've got a back throw back air uh, lined up for you. 
As he's looking for it, that jab was something, but instead, Jukane just shutting down a lot of that space and risking with that dash and dash attack and the up air to follow up, finally chasing vertically, and Jukane is paid off in spades with a huge stock lead now. Now the Squirtle yeah. gets the move. Yeah, now the Squirtle's out here. Now, the thing is, a lot of those moves were actually because Charizard was big. Like, that's how a lot oh, of them true. connected. Squirtle would have not gotten connected by at least a few of those options. Probably could have extended that stock a little bit. I mean, yeah, you, you do lose the weight, but you gain so much evasiveness in the process. And, I mean, very true, but you don't look now, Skiff, because the sometimes all you need is a turn of stock in order to get a little momentum on your side. And the Squirtle doing its job, this Ivysaur pun, uh, pummeling with a ton of up airs, and now we're back to the Charizard. Looking for an up smash here, looking for a pivot cancel forward tilt instead. Up angled as well to catch the jump from Jukane. And here we are at last stop game three with a grab on Ivysaur, putting into 50% just like that. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. And that's just uh, take your time, space out your moves, man. Ivysaur's got plenty of fantastic aerials. He does not need to commit to anything more than you really need to. So just kind of slow it down. <laughs> oh, man. Noku's been looking for so many little pivot grabs and so many dash back, like trying to catch Jukane overextending, but that's where turn up comes. No way, really? Wow, super died. <laughs> and Jukane a little frustrated with the with some of that body language, but how can you not be given the the down throw vine whip at such a low percent? Getting, uh, well, well, I mean, there was a little bit of rage there. I mean, 110, so that definitely helps out a little bit. But uh, at about 170. Let's see what this was at. Okay. Yep, got the grab, 170, 184, or not 184, just uh, 84, and <laughs> yeah, yeah man, that, one that makes sense at that point. Yeah, yeah that's that, tough. That, that, especially at the edge of PS2, that's definitely a stock. Yeah, that off the top as well. Interesting DI angles coming out, but sometimes you got to hold that, and that's the, the the benefactor of Ivysaur has become so much of a like control into a controlled movement, like bait and bash type of character that works so well against Peach, especially given how the character, like once you hit Peach, it can feel extremely terrible to like get down. Having to burn float de defensively can be really, really taxing. And in, even in just that case, getting the neutral air dodge caught with a grab, super tough. Like super clutch on Jukane to kind of figure out their win condition after playing a lot of Charizard, pivoting to Ivysaur at the very, uh, pivoting to Ivysaur and trusting that as the finisher. Super nice. Yeah. I mean, it definitely helped when, um, you know, you you could always switch to Charizard, you know, if you go any higher than 110. So, but the right. Ivysaur definitely had the right tools to try and create that pressure. And I mean, the Ivysaur was kind of non-existent for a bit, but either way, we're going to be getting into our next match here. Really.